Hello and welcome to a Dragon PME tutorial. Um, yeah, that's again another Dragon. Anyway, um, today I just wanted to do some compression because Max are mostly well, I've seen them mostly used for video, um, and radio, and very high media creation stuffs. So, for example, you have bought yourself an iMac, it has a little iSight camera, and you've opened iMovie, and you've exported a finished film. You'll find that the exported footage is about, like, if it's about the length of my videos, it'll be about 1.2 gigabytes, which is not suitable for YouTube. So, this tutorial is going to be on um, making videos ready for YouTube. So, this is what I do. Um, I'm going to take one of my projects here. If you look all around, I've got an abundance of things on my desktop. Why? Because it's a busy time for me-ish, because I've got all kinds of uh, videos in here, there, and anyway. But anyway, I've made, in my own time, something called Final Final CLS Mega. Where's the one with colours? Millions of colours CLS Mega, right? And this is what it looks like. It's uh, a pretty big video. As you can see, it's like TV standard, 700 odd million, uh, 700 pixels by 500 pixels ish. And if you look, the size is 63 megabytes. Well, it's under the um, 100 megabytes quota, but for a 15 second clip, that's a bit uh, disgraceful for YouTube. So, what would I do to get it? Okay, two seconds, minimize. To get it onto YouTube. This is what I would do. Well, first of all, I'll play it and just show you that the quality of this thing is pretty big, pretty good, and it's what I've been making for my university projects, um, like kind of our production logo type thing. But anyway, obviously, it's not playing at it at its best because I'm doing all this rubbish with screen capture and stuff. So, right, what do I do to get it from 60 megabytes to a suitable size? I downloaded something called iSquint. I squint here, go away. Um, compresses everything, uh, pretty much everything except VOBs, which is DVD format, into um, an MP4. So I stick it in I squint like so, and I squint will bob up and down. Uh, see that it's running. And here we have I squint. Now, I do recommend that you put it on Go Nuts for quality. Uh, but I just usually leave it as standard. Click start and it'll comp comp blah, blah, compress your video into this, what I have. And it is 364 kilobytes, not even half a megabyte. That's how great the compression is. And that's what I use for YouTube. So for example, there's my little box here. It's not as big as the other one for a start, but because the quality has been decreased. But if you watch it, the quality is still pretty good. There we go. It's not necessary. It's it's okay for YouTube. I think I use iSquint all the time to get my YouTube videos on YouTube. It gets the size down, and um, because I'm not, um, I don't have an internet service provider that has a great deal of upload speed, um, 90 kilobytes, which is abysmal. Um, I have to get them pretty damn small. So there. That's what I, I would do. iSquint is absolutely free. You can get it from uh, here, www.isquint.org. Absolutely free. Although when you close the program, I, th I, know, I thought it gives you some kinds of advert. But anyway, so yeah, that's what I use. And um, iSquint takes... A, um, it's. I'm trying to tell you how fast it goes, but I can't, can't find the words. iSquint, it's quite quick, of course, actually. I've uh, had a lot of... Um, conversion problems and stuff and ice wind seems to be the best one so far um, obviously if you've got a, f a 1.5 gigabyte file uh, converting that down to 300 kilobytes or whatever is going to take some time so please don't be like oh ice wind's not working um, it, it does show you a progress bar on the bottom and there um, it hasn't crashed on me yet so it's a very stable program um, and it's great uh, ho I hope you've learned something and hopefully you will take it away and um, uh, make some good videos for YouTube and if you do make one and say hey look this is what I've made on my Mac please send us a link or something I'll more than gladly watch it it's five o'clock and what does five o'clock mean it means I've got to go and have some food so 
I'll see you next time on a Dragon Pay Me tutorial. Hopefully you've learned something. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment, etc, etc, etc. If I've insulted you, please leave a comment and I'll apologise, etc, etc, etc. Have fun, uh, play with your Mac, and if you don't have a Mac, you should go and get one. Um, even if you just want a, a quick little one, like a mini Mac, um, about £300, I don't know how much it is in dollars or whatever, I, mean, I do recommend it, I would recommend Mac, once you go Mac, you'll never go back, <laughs> sorry, I do apologise, I shall see you on the next, whenever that is, bye!